the language of a grammar the language of a grammar let us take the language l of g of a cfg cfg means context free grammar g equal to v t p and s you know very well about v is a set of variables t is a set of terminals p is a set of productions s is a s is the set, uh, start symbol see v is the set of variables t is the set of terminals s is the start symbol and p is the set of productions or rules from the form so from this language l of g equal to w such that w belongs to t star comma s gives rise to star g w see you know very well about what you mean by star star is a uh, star is a closure operation if uh, any terminal or any variable if it is having star means that number of uh, terminals you can use in this means means uh, t star means t is a number of terminals set of terminals so those terminals you can use uh, n number of ter uh, terminals here so likewise thus s is a the start variable it starts from set of uh, uh, terminals with grammar and uh, you, at final you will reach the one string the language of a context free grammar is called a context free language cfl you just look at the theorem 7 in the textbook that shows the typical way to prove that a given grammar really generates the desired language so th that uh, that is set of uh, palindromes you know very well set of palindromes suppose the palindrome is a madam if you consider madam madam if you write a reverse order also you will get same string so likewise there is a i am adam that is uh, that is also you can uh, if you write uh, in reverse order also you will get same meaning so that is a palindrome so such kind of examples you can observe from the textbook in the theorem 7 you just go through that you will understand